John Sedgwick was a teacher, a career military officer, and a Union Army general in the American Civil War. He was the highest-ranking Union casualty in the Civil War, killed by a sharpshooter at the Battle of Spotsylvania Courthouse, and is well remembered for his ironic last words. They couldn't hit an elephant at this distance. Early life and education. Sedgwick was born in the Litchfield Hills town of Cornwall, Connecticut. He was named after his grandfather, John Sedgwick, an American Revolutionary War general who served with George Washington. He attended Sharon Academy for two years and Cheshire Academy in 1830-31. After teaching for two years, he attended the United States Military Academy. Graduated in 1837 ranked 24th of 50, and was commissioned a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army's artillery branch. He fought in the Seminole Wars and received two brevet promotions in the Mexican-American War, to captain for Contreras and Jurabusco, and to major for Chapultepec. After returning from Mexico, he transferred to the cavalry and served in Kansas, in the Utah War, and in the Indian Wars participating in 1857 in a punitive expedition against the Cheyenne. In the summer and fall of 1860, Sedgwick commanded an expedition to establish a new fort on the Platte River in what is now Colorado. This was a remote location with no railroads, and all supplies having to be carried long distances by riverboat, wagon train or horseback. Even though many of these supplies failed to arrive, Sedgwick still managed to erect comfortable stone buildings for his men before the cold weather set in. Career American Civil War At the start of the American Civil War, Sedgwick served as a colonel and assistant inspector general of the military department of Washington. He missed the early action of the war at the First Battle of Bull Run, recovering from cholera. Promoted to Brigadier General on August 31, 1861, he commanded the 2nd Brigade of Marge, Gen. Samuel P. Heinzelman's division in the Army of the Potomac, then his own division, which was designated the 2nd Division of the 2nd Corps for the Peninsula Campaign. In Virginia, he fought at Yorktown and Seven Pines and was wounded in the arm and leg at the Battle of Glendale. He was promoted to Major General on July 4, 1862, in the Battle of Antietam, 2nd Corps Commander Marge, Gen. Edwin V. Sumner impulsively sent Sedgwick's division in a mass assault without proper reconnaissance. His division was engaged by Confederate forces under Marge, Gen. Thomas J. Stonewall, Jackson from three sides, was routed, and fell back with barely half the men it had started with. Sedgwick himself was hit by three bullets, in the wrist, leg, and shoulder, and was out of action until after the Battle of Friedrichsburg. From December 26, 1862, he briefly led the Second Corps and the Ninth Corps, and then finally the Sixth Corps of the Army of the Potomac which he commanded until his death in 1864. During the Battle of Chancellorsville, his corps faced Fredericksburg in an initial holding action while Marge, Gen. Joseph Hooker's other four corps maneuvered against Robert E. Lee's left flank. He was slow to take action, but eventually crossed the Rappahannock River and assaulted Marge, Gen. Jubal Early's small force on Mary's Heights. Moving west slowly to join forces with Hooker and Trap Lee between the halves of the army, he was stopped by elements of Lee's Second Corps at the Battle of Salem Church, forcing his eventual retreat back over the Rappahannock. At the Battle of Gettysburg, his corps arrived late on July 2 and as a result only few units were able to take part in the final Union counterattacks in the wheat field. In the 1864 Overland Campaign, the Sixth Corps was on the Union right at the Battle of the Wilderness and defended against assaults by L.T. Gen. Richard S. Ewell's Second Corps, Death. Sedgwick fell at the beginning of the Battle of Spotsylvania Courthouse, on May 9, 1864. His corps was probing skirmish lines ahead of the left flank of Confederate defenses and he was directing artillery placements. 
Confederate sharpshooters were about 1,000 yards away and the shots caused members of his staff and artillerymen to duck for cover. Sedgwick strode around in the open and was quoted as saying, What? Men dodging this way for single bullets. What will you do when they open fire along the whole line? Although ashamed, his men continued to flinch and he said, Why are you dodging like this? They couldn't hit an elephant at this distance, reports that he never finished the sentence so apocryphal. Although the line was among his last words, he was shot moments later under the left eye and fell down dead. Sedgwick was the highest-ranking Union death in the Civil War. Although James B. McPherson was in command of an army at the time of his death and Sedgwick of a corps, Sedgwick had the most senior rank by date of all major generals killed. Upon hearing of his death, L.T. Gen. Ulysses S. Grant, flabbergasted by the news, repeatedly asked, Is he really dead? Legacy. Sedgwick's reputation was that of a solid, dependable, but relatively unaggressive general. He was well liked by his soldiers, who referred to him affectionately as Uncle John. His death was met by universal sorrow, even Robert E. Lee expressed his sadness over the fate of an old friend. George G. Meade wept at the news. Ulysses S. Grant characterized Sedgwick as one who was never at fault when serious work was to be done, and he told his staff that the loss for him was worse than that of an entire division. John Sedgwick is buried near his birthplace of Cornwall Hollow, Connecticut. An equestrian statue honors him and the Sixth Corps at Gettysburg National Military Park. There is a monument of General Sedgwick at West Point. Academy legend has it that a cadet who spins the rowels of the spurs on boots of the statue at midnight while wearing full parade dress gray over white uniform under arms will have good luck on his or her final exam. The following were named in his honor. Sedgwick, Arkansas. Sedgwick, Colorado. Sedgwick County, Colorado. Sedgwick, Kansas. Sedgwick County, Kansas. Fort Sedgwick was one of the forts of the Union siege line in the Siege of Petersburg 1864-65. Camp Rankin was renamed Fort Sedgwick in 1865, near Julesburg, Colorado. A major street in the Bronx, in New York City, is named after him. An east-west street in Washington, D.C., near American University is also named in his honor, as is another on Chicago's near north side. Grand Army of the Republic Post No. 4 in Keene, New Hampshire, Post No. 12 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Post No. 17 in Santa Ana, California, and Post No. 37 in York, Pennsylvania are all named after him. Also, a junior high school in Port Orchard, Washington, was named after him. In the 1990 film Dances with Wolves, L.T., John Dunbar stays at a fictional Fort Sedgwick, presumably named after General Sedgwick. The fort in the film may have been inspired by the Fort Sedgwick built in Kansas in 1860. Farley, his headquarters at the time of the Battle of Brandy Station, was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1976.